This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, I hate this, man. I hate it when someone gets their, you know, their pages deleted for no reason. Uh, Academics lost his main page on Instagram. Hopefully he gets it back. I mean, he knows a lot of people at Spotify and everything, so I'm sure he'll get it back. But it's just annoying. Sometimes people just target people for no reason and and you get your page deleted. I've had one of my pages deleted on Instagram for no, nothing. I wasn't even posting on it. And someone took it down. It did, and and I I know what it was. Pro- it was probably this app. I had this app that would like allow me to download uh, videos and stuff to my phone, and it just disappeared, man. It's like I don't know. But anyways, yeah, it's crazy. I hope he gets it back. There's his backup pages on there if you want to follow him. Um, then you got little Duval. Uh, he says a prayer for Stevie J because Stevie J, if you haven't seen this video, it was on Unwind with T- Tasha K first, and then uh, a lot of other sites picked it up. Stevie J, so he filed for divorce from Faith. You, you know Stevie J from, he's a big producer, but he also was on Love and Hip Hop. Faith, we know from her singing career, and also you know she she was uh, Big's baby mom. She was with Big. So, anyways. Stevie J comes in the house and puts her on blast because he says she been taking other dudes into their bedroom and smashing and they're married. So, I mean, that's the that's one of the worst things you can do. She violated on another level. Okay, so. Little Duval says prayers up uh, for one of our OG city boys, Stevie J. We all need to be there for him through these rough times. No man should have to find out another man was sleeping in his bed. If you need some uh, girls or a shoulder to cry on, don't hesitate to call me. That is, dude, that's the worst. Like, if I, I've never had to experience, I mean, I think we've all had people cheat on you, right? And I've had people cheat on me in the past, okay? And, you know, it's easy to, easier to brush off. I've, I've heard of horror stories where guys come home and, I mean, girls too, where they come home and your spouse is smashing in the bed and you have to witness that. Can you, can you imagine the scars you get on your brain from that? I mean, that's like trauma times 10, okay? So luckily he didn't have to witness it, but that is foul, man. Um, so we got a little pump. He might... This is scary, too. Uh, at risk of losing $5 million mansion. Because um, he has, you know, uh, he owes the government money. From 2018. Hopefully he's able to pay that off, man. That's that's scary. Because, like, you know, this guy makes a lot of money. I think he made, like, $15 million in one year. That's a hefty bill that goes to the government. Now, he said he also had these Amex bills that were, like, 30,000 weren't being paid and everything. He said, nah, uh, da, da, da. anyways, he says it's all cap. Don't believe it. Blah, blah, blah. But something got filed. So it's not, it's not complete cap. Okay. Something got filed. And I don't know. We'll see what happens with that. Then we got. Okay. So people react to this whole Drake and Kanye thing. It doesn't appear to me that people really care about it, okay? Every Anytime I talked about it, nah, no interest. Nobody cared. Because I think a lot of people thought it was fake anyways, man. It was really over nothing. Like, they, they did these little disses, tit for tats for each other. I think the worst thing that happened was Kanye told Pusha T a lot of stuff, and he used it in a song. Uh, the question is, okay, even if Kanye and Drake are friends, what happens with Pusha T? Does he get pushed to the side? I mean, what happens there? Uh, a lot of people reacted to this. Uh, Chief Keef said, hard. Quavo said, straightening. Nav, big. Remy Ma, that's dope. Uh, let's see. Hitman Holla said, it's a better look uh, when the two top guys in our culture build together and not destroying each other. Little baby, he loves it. Boo, who manages Kanye, said, finally, I can be seen with Preem, who is uh, one of Drake's artists, in public. 
Hip Boy loves it. Uh, Duke Deuce Burner says legendary. Big Bank loves it. I mean, you know, it's cool. I mean, you know, we'll, let's see if they drop that Calabasas album now. Mixtape. Then we got Talib Kweli calling keeping his foot on Kanye's neck, calling him a poser. Kanye said he is the only, uh, he only posed as a backpacker. I'm sorry for the backpack community. It did work for him in the beginning, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> it worked for him a lot. Um, then, you know, Talib Kweli highlights what a poser is. A uh, person who pretends, she, which, which he's not. Real question, since when do you celebrate posers in hip hop? And, you know, he talks about being salty. He says, dude came here, stop criticizing posers. Then he loves my my group Gangstar. Then he said he loves my group Gangstar. That's your group now? I thought that was DJ Premier and I don't know. I'm kind of confused. Um, anyways, that is it. I appreciate you guys so much. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Smash that like button and I'll check you guys on the next one.